Uh, next to speak is Tala Dabor. And uh, welcome, Ms. Dabor. Uh, Tala is here speaking on behalf of the Council on American Islamic Relations. Um, thank you, commissioners and city council. Uh, good evening. My name is Tala DeBoer, and I'm the policy director for the Ohio chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations, known as CARE Ohio. We are a civil rights and advocacy, advocacy organization that defends and empowers Ohio Muslims. A large part of our organization's work is to facilitate increased political awareness and civic engagement among uh, Columbus Muslim community members through educational programming and policy advocacy efforts. This is crucial as Muslims remain one of America's least civically engaged groups and one of the most discriminated against in institutional settings. The Columbus Muslim community is made up of tens of thousands of racially and culturally diverse groups and continues to grow exponentially. The community we serve largely includes immigrants, refugees, and new Americans from a wide array of socioeconomic, racial, and ethnic backgrounds. We work with the Columbus Muslim community through facilitating religious accommodations in employment, educational, and healthcare settings, as well as through the provision of legal services with regards to employment discrimination and immigration. Through our community work, we understand that policing is an important part of our clients' concerns. The Muslim community in Columbus is plagued by both under and over policing, where policing issues are not prioritized according to community needs. As a diverse community, not only do Muslims face issues with overly aggressive policing, but Muslims also experience under policing and have trouble accessing law enforcement in their times of need. Public transportation infrastructure and affordable housing are also concerns of our community. Access to transportation and affordable housing heavily impacts educational and professional opportunities, as well as access to health care. With these important concerns mentioned, districting should allow for neighborhood-specific policing issues and transportation and housing infrastructure needs to be addressed directly by the respective district council member. The commission should consider the unique cultural identity of each community and draw lines in a way that amplifies their voices rather than diluting them. Through this process, the commission has the valuable opportunity of hearing from different community voices like we are today and understanding how they define their communities. Immigrant and minority communities have always been politically disenfranchised and this is an important opportunity to help them directly reach their elected officials on city council and thereby connecting them to the resources they need to improve their communities. Thank you. Thank you.